I have this theory about manifestation that anybody, including you, can manifest anything at any time, but your ability to hold on to that manifestation and make it a normal part of your existence is actually dependent on your ability to match your subconscious programming with your manifestation. Sure, maybe you've manifested a little bit of money or maybe some weight loss or maybe a new sexy love interest into your life, but eventually it goes away and you end up feeling worse in the long run. Why is that? That's because even though you were able to manifest that thing or that person or that circumstance, you weren't the type of person who would normally have that outcome or have that manifestation. You see, cliches are cliches for a reason. It's because they're true. For example, your manifestations are a reflection of you and you are simply the sum total of your subconscious programs, your beliefs, your fears, your perspectives, your values. All these subconscious programs that are running inside of you are actually what determine what you experience outside of you, your circumstances, the things you achieve, the things that you have, the money in your bank account, the weight on the scale, the person in your life. All of those things that you want to manifest, the only way they're going to stick around is if you actually become that person at a subconscious level who would normally and naturally have those things. The good news is you weren't born with any of the subconscious programs you have now. All the beliefs that you have, all the fears that you have, you had to learn what to believe and what to be afraid of. And this happened when you were a little kid. The things that were done to you, the things that were said to you, the things that you witnessed, all made your brain form certain beliefs and fears in an effort to help you navigate the world around you. For example, let's say you grew up with parents who always struggled with money and lived paycheck to paycheck, or maybe they made a lot of money, but they were always complaining about it and you equated money with stress. Well, then you formed beliefs around money and wealth and abundance that may be prohibiting you from actually holding on to wealth and abundance now. Or maybe let's say you're trying to manifest your dream body and weight loss, but you grew up with parents who told you to finish all the food on your plate because they're starving kids somewhere, or you learn to believe that you're just big boned or, you know, being overweight is genetic. Well, then you have beliefs about yourself and your body and food that are going to prohibit you from actually losing weight and keeping it off. And now, of course, we could talk about love, right? And trying to manifest a relationship or a specific person. Well, if you grew up with parents who didn't show you love, they never celebrated you, or maybe they were even abusive towards you and you never felt that love and self-worth, well, you're not going to be able to manifest love outside of yourself because you don't have that program running. And so my point again here is that you have to align your subconscious programs at like a real neurological level with the outcomes that you're trying to manifest. Now, in my own experience, hypnosis was the fastest way to change my own subconscious programs. And once I found hypnosis. I ended up losing almost 100 pounds in six months. I manifested a seven-figure net worth by the age of 32, almost a million followers on social media. Everything I have in my life fell into place and stuck around because I actually hypnotized myself and reprogrammed my subconscious mind to allow all of it to happen naturally.